I'm so hungover. This was a tough one. Welcome to part three of the cheap bike build off. So this is, oh, this is, this is part four. It, it might be part four. If you're new to the, to the series, this is the final part. This is the where we're going to finish the bike and you're going to see it in all its glory. Um, but if you haven't seen any of these videos yet, there's a playlist that I'll link below or is linked somewhere on my channel. A playlist essentially that's got all these videos in so you can see from the start all the way up until now um but uh today we will finish it however i was extremely hung over the day that i finished this bike i'm so hung over the last bit i needed to do was the brakes that was that was it uh i had to oh, put grips on but yeah that was it um should have took me about an hour max took me all day all day and the brakes aren't really adjusted correctly yet, You're, but we'll get to that in a bit. But um, yeah, felt sorry for myself. But before we go into the actual build itself and finishing it off, um, I just want to say another massive thanks to uh, to Max uh, for setting this up and to the other creators that got involved in as well, which I'll put on the screen here, these guys here. Um, and But more, more importantly, and honestly, more importantly, all of you. Um, I will talk about it a little bit more at the end of the video, but um, I was blown away by how many people actually got involved in this. Um, I feel like the last month has been like the biggest bike community showdown that I've ever been involved in. Um, it was it was super like heartwarming, humbling. I don't know, like it was amazing to see so many people building bikes. Um, you tagged me in tons of photos, loads of videos. A bunch of you have actually even started your own YouTube channels. Um, and this has been your first YouTube upload, which is amazing, super, super cool. I'm a massive promoter, promoter of YouTube. If you've got a camera, if you've got a phone, make YouTube videos, why not? But anyway, we'll talk about that in a bit more detail later on. But uh, should we finish the bike? So number one, just before we go on to building the bike, um, a lot of you were not happy the way I measured the chain. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail now, um, but I wanted to show you a bit of a clip here of me going through the gears at this angle so you could see the stretch on the arm. I hear everything you're saying, uh, but one thing that Toasty actually mentioned is the fact that if there's slacks in the chain, and I think this is what he means, um, then in theory it should be good. Um, it shifts well, shifts nice. I've used the same derailleur setup before and it shifts well like this. So I think for now, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Now, so I don't have to keep stopping this wheel with my hand, should we get some brakes on it? So the brakes I'm using, we're using cantilevers and uh, these are Tetro somethings. I can't remember exactly the model, um, but they have a little spring adjuster in it. So like you can make them really tight and kind of work really well um and uh i've got five huh i mean there's gonna be a lot of fumbling around in this video like i i was i was so hungover but once i worked out which ones i needed i picked out the least crusty uh, you can see it's mainly on these bolts in the back that the corrosions really hit it um the rest of it the brakes are really good it just goes to show that it's just that one little bit that was letting it down um but i just use a little bit of juice lubes and uh, a wire brush really just give it a bit of a wash or a wash a scrub um if i had more time or if my brain was capable of like thinking about it at the time um i do have some evaporus that's the best way to do and i should really strip these brakes down completely and give them a full service um, but the, the rest of them are good they are still fine so it'll be all right So this was the first hurdle I came across. Uh, the bolts that would usually go in here are obviously like sunken in. Uh, the ones that I happen to find uh, don't really fit inside, which I was annoyed about massively. Uh, but I decided to just try it and see kind of where it would go. 
anybody with a keen eye might notice is a little L on that brake pad. That's because it's on the wrong side or it's, this was mounted on the bike on the front. So, didn't realize that, so I had to change it. This is just one of those moments in this video where poor little hungover Craig couldn't quite work out which pad needed to go on which brake uh, and it took me a hideously long time. This is just a small clip of me trying to do it. It took me way longer. So moment of truth, let's get that bolt in. Um, and surprisingly, and very much to my surprise, it fit reasonably snugly and with no real issue. So I don't know, it worked. You know what else is working at the moment? My stickers. You guys have been going crazy for them. And I feel like I say that a lot, but this week in particular, for example, usually you guys, I put my video out on a Sunday and you guys go crazy on stickers, buy loads of stickers. I'm very, very grateful for it. By Wednesday, I've caught up and I've shipped them all out. Um, it's been a week now and I'm still haven't caught up since the last time I released stickers or the last video I released that you went crazy with stickers. Long story short, I'm really sorry. If your stickers haven't been shipped yet, I will get to them. The day you're watching this, Sunday, is my day that I'm gonna smash them all out and get them all shipped out. So they'll be with you soon. Um, but if you're one of those people that haven't picked them up yet, um, I would suggest go in to check them out. Um, for example, the proper crusty ones are almost completely sold out. The silver one and the orange, they're very, very low. Uh, those, I'm to my surprise, you went mad for. Um, so I'll be bringing them back in new colors. Uh, let me down, know in the comments that below what color I should do next. We'll probably keep the silver one, but what should we do next after orange? And um, then the Save Old Bike shields are back as well, um, especially this black and gold, which you can't quite tell on the camera, but it is gold, not silver uh, and black, which is very cool. One of my favorite ones. I've kept a few of these for myself for builds. And as requested by a bunch of you, uh, the black and gold Bulky Boys Bike Club as well. So there's a few left of most of them. Uh, I think maybe the pink Saver bikes have now already out of stock, which is the one I bought the most of, and it's the one that you always go crazy for. So more pink will be on the way. Um, but yeah, if you fancy them, check them out at the bottom. Um, it's how I run this channel. You buy stickers, I buy parts, I build more bikes. So as great as always, I'm very, very grateful. Got some very snazzy looking bikes coming soon. So um, the more st stickers you buy, the more snazzy they become, I guess. Whenever working on brake posts uh, and like bottle cages, things like that, using the, the Allen key like this is just gets in the way. It's really awkward to use. Um, so you use a little ratchet. My little ratchet was upstairs um, and uh, I couldn't bother going and get it. So I struggled. And there's a few things that I just put myself through in this just because I couldn't bother to get it. The best time to align your brake pads cantilevers is usually when you've already got the cable on there just because it takes the, the slack out of the actual arm especially if they're spring loaded like these ones and um, so it was quite hard to kind of do it so hard that like I did it maybe 20 30 times uh, this isn't I'm not going to show you that don't worry um, but it just I just could not do it to save my life um, I, but I'm, I don't know why I'm so hungover. Oh yeah, that's why. I actually stopped filming at this point when it came to the canties. They were taking so, so long and I was over it. So I just kind of focused on it instead of focus on video in as well. Uh, but we're now on to the cables. The cables were pretty straightforward and um, nice and easy to route and um, reasonably easy to kind of get the nice kind of angle on the on the, the curves in that so I was quite happy with that um, doing the actual inner cables themselves that's pretty satisfying isn't it just just saying Thank you. 
And as you can see from the uh, awful angles of this brake right now, um, I was really struggling to get the tension and the cable length and everything kind of correct at this point. Um, I spent a solid hour working on the, the cables on the front and the back uh, and it just, I couldn't, I couldn't get them quite right. They, they would kind of stop the bike but I know I could do a lot better so I decided to just can it uh, just so I could have the bike finished um, but I do need to come back and readjust the brakes. Everything else is working on there fine but the brakes, they work but like like it's like some bloody, I don't know, a clown who's never looked at a bike before decided to put the brakes on. I mean, that kind of sounds like me on a normal day. Have you ever seen those cable ends that you stick on the end of your cable uh, and then you can actually do it with the Allen key? So they're reusable ones because I've seen them a bunch and I've got a feeling some bougie bike park companies that make them and they're like silly money. Uh, these cost me two pounds on AliExpress um, and uh, I rate them massively. I mean, there's, you can't really go wrong with this. They just work and they look super cool. Like, well, well, good. Um, but these, um, and then also uh, the dust caps. Um, the dust caps, again, were about a quid. Um, kind of just bought these because they look kind of cool. Wasn't sure if I was going to put them on this, but now I have. I'm very glad I have. If you haven't seen the last episode where I destroyed some grips and did a really stupid thing, go back and watch it so you know what I'm on about. Um, but I did find a matching tan one and decided to go with it. Uh, if you think I should go back and put a black one on and have the black and tan like we talked about in the last video, because uh, a bunch of you did think that was the best way to go, uh, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll switch it back. But I found it, so I figured I'd put it on. But that's it, that's the end of the cheap bike build off. And uh, the only thing we have to do now really is uh, go look at it. I mean, I'm not being funny, but that is way better than I thought it'd end up being. I've been wanting to give myself this challenge for some time now. I always talk about the fact that I'm gonna start this bike on a budget and do something that's kind of like, you know, a bit out there, but like kind of like humble and just not ridiculous, like a lot of my builds end up going. But then they just go like that. And then I just get carried away and I find a really good deal on the derailleur and a this and that and ever and then I spend loads of money and then it just cost me hundreds but this was a good opportunity for myself to kind of realign why I'm doing this and kind of like you know think about the budget components that I can pick up think about taking the time to look into these resources and find these parts that I actually want to use on these bikes uh, instead of just kind of going online and just finding whatever is around and just buying and buying and buying and buying until I've got what I need this was way more fun so much so, I'm gonna try and make that my theme for the year. Maybe not all the builds, some some special ideas I have in my head at the moment I want to kind of go through with, but like most of my builds, I wanna spend a bit more time looking for those special parts, spending a bit more time trying to make them on a budget and trying to make them more realistic. That's something that you guys could do yourself as well. But this is not the last time you're gonna see this bike. Um, I will, sort the brakes out i will get it all kind of tipped up and i want to take it for a ride uh, and i'll document that and show that share that with you guys as well it's at the moment it has just been built and put in the shed i don't want to end like that i also want to make another video um talking about your builds um max has put out a video on his instagram if you're watching this on when it released yesterday or like the last few days at least um it's talking about the fact that we will want to 
give away a prize to the best build. Um, we've all selected 10 um, and we've all put those into a hat essentially and uh, I think Max has some software or a website that he's going to put it all on and I think he's going to give you guys a chance to vote as well. Um, so check out his account, um, it's the mullet mechanic, this one here, um, and uh, you'll get the more rest of the details there. But I'm going to do a video in a week or so talking about my top 10 and I want to talk about why and I thought it might be nice for me to kind of share with you directly that I really appreciate your bikes. I've spoke to a lot of you guys on your videos and on your comments and talked about them on there um, but uh, I know I haven't talked to all of you and there's been so many it's been hard to kind of keep up with it all. But that's the end of this video. Um, next week's video is gonna be about uh, the bike we started talking about last week, uh, which is the new 100 mile bike. Um, it's my um, Saracen Andes. Um, I'm going building that bike up to be a bit of a tourer slash all-terrain slash get lots of mileage in it kind of type bike. I still haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna build it. But next week's video is gonna be all about the seat post. Uh, you've all been talking about all the different amazing ways that you think I should try to take the seat post out with. Um, all I'm gonna say is, I've tried one of them. I think that's the whole host moving. It's broken yeah. straight from the thing, isn't it? Yeah. No. It may or may not have worked, and there's a video about it next week. So if you're interested in stuck seat posts, retro bikes, and all things bikes, to be honest, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you cannot wait until next week's video, which is a weekly occurrence, uh, that one there is a particularly good one.